in the kitchen this week. Are you recording already? Yeah. Hi everyone! Hello. We're in the kitchen this week, that's why it's a bit different, and we're stood up. And um, it's kind of sad because you're in the kitchen, you can't see any of the kitchen, you can see the wall. <laughs> and a bit of the door if she moves. <laughs> so... New and exciting venue. So yeah, such such an exciting venue. <laughs> we'll, we'll move to the table when we eat, probably. I don't know, I've not cleaned off most of the tables and go bad on there and things. So, <laughs> anyway, um, we're back this week. It's Helen's week. Yay! So, right then, without further ado. I'm also really emotionally compromised, so if I randomly make really sad faces, you know, just, I'm not going to explain why, I just am. You can't explain why. I should probably say that there's nothing they should There's nothing seriously about. worried about, but spoilers for my TV show came out and they're about my favourite character and She's emotionally yeah, compromised. I'm emotionally compromised. Anyway, without further ado, ow, I just hit myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done. I just hit myself with the case. You're my favourite person. Bravo. <laughs> I look forward to watching the video of that. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was like an infant on my nose, but I wasn't. So anyway, right, Helen. You got my think. <laughs> Helen, open your thing. I will open my thing. My thing? Your thing. Ooh, a white choc bomb. We're literally going to die of chocolate this yeah. week. Yeah. I don't like raspberry though. <laughs> it is white chocolate, mozzarella and raspberry. If I've got something different, I'll trade you because I love raspberry. Ooh. And it tastes like gently drowning in a vat of vanilla cream. We sound mm. like a very nice way to go. if you have to actually sound a really nice way to drown. So, I suppose I'll show up a man and see if I've yes, got something different. I do not. I'm getting the same thing at the moment. Yeah, it's weird. It's okay though. Mm. So yeah, same thing. It still fucking does it. Why? It hits you. I don't think I'm going to try again. Just, I give up. Yeah. So yeah, white chocolate bomb. It looks, the per, the picture on it looks pretty. Now, the reason we're doing two this week, so you're going to get extra, because Ooh. I came up with one last week that we mentioned that I, I did buy the stuff for. I almost didn't, but then I went shopping at the beginning of the week, and I did, and then I was up at four o'clock this morning shopping things for it because I forgot until then. Which sounds like dedication unless you realise that she sleeps weird hours. I do. I'm four normally up at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> four o'clock in the evening is like eight o'clock in the evening for us. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it's like, I'm not, I normally go to bed at 6am. That's my usual bedtime. I'm normally just going to fall asleep and like saw my phone as Helen's getting up for work at 6.30. So... That should tell I because I work nights, my sleep schedule's completely reversed. Um so yeah, it sounds like I was being dedicated, but I really wasn't. I just wanted to say in that way. <laughs> so we'll get on with making and then We'll get on with eating. And then when we come back for the second half we'll give our things on these and we'll make the other ones. Ooh, a double exciting bonus week. Yay. And there might be more bonus next week. If we do the one that we were thinking. Yes. Which yeah. one were we thinking? Oh, the one I thought of. Or the one you thought of. Not the one Mum thought of, but maybe both. Eight. We'll talk about that one. <laughs> she doesn't believe me that it'll be the good, basically. It involves grapes on bread. Grapes on bread's fine. No, no. She's weird. She's yeah. really weird. We're both weird, Shin. Stop the thing. We're going to film this bit now. <laughs> what, just as messing around being stupid? Yes. You've missed the singing and dancing. It was beautiful. <laughs> that was off camera. It was off camera, but I'm quite happy to sing and dance. Yes, we know. Remember that taxi ride? Oh, my God. It's all over my Instagram. 
For anyone that doesn't have my Instagram, it's Meredith Brody. Go look. You'll find videos of me and her and our friends and Rihanna singing in a taxi. It's brilliant. We didn't have a medley. It was beautiful. We did an ABBA medley, we did Mirage, we do Mirage a lot. She texted it to me earlier because I had a sad song stuck in my head. I said this and then just got Oasis. You seem so far away, I'm in survival mode, so don't evaporate. We're in this desert wall, fighting for something more, so close to paradise, it's a Mirage tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That was beautiful. That was beautiful. We did that a lot. Kirsty's done. Hi! Hello, Wack! Um, there will be outtakes at the end of this video because we, 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 we filmed bits while the toasties were cooking. It was funny. Uh, it includes us singing and everything's great. But anyway, yes. Neither of us can sing. Run away now. I should, yeah, we should clarify that we can't sing. Not a single note at all, but we sing anyway because we, got... we have great enthusiasm. We're passionate <laughs> and also terrible, <laughs> but very terrible. But yes, toasties. So um, we had a slight mishap with mine in that I left the butter in the microwave too long and it melted, but only a little bit burnt. So I'm going to do that next week anyway. Right, shall we eat these things? Yes, they smell really nice. They do smell really nice. Use of camera. <laughs> like, we should be seeing your facial reactions to this sandwich. It's really nice, actually. Mmm. Very sweet. Very sweet. Not one for the sugar haters. Mm. If you don't like sugar, run away. This is like diabetes heaven, but it's really nice. It's delicious, actually. This makes up for last week. Yeah. And it even works for me who doesn't like recipe because it's just jam and it tastes like sugar anyway. <laughs> I did not just eat some off my boob. You did. I didn't. I saw you. I think they saw me too, but the star didn't. <laughs> you didn't see it. It was an illusion. As long as you didn't eat off my boob, it's fine. <laughs> and it wouldn't even be the worst thing you've done to my boobs. I motorboated her once. <laughs> first time I ever motorboated someone. It was a special moment. It's the first time I've ever been motorboated, so you know. <clears throat> we took each other's motorboat virginity. That's how I can tell it's a special friendship. <laughs> and that's such a euphemism. <laughs> you see, Helen is very, very asexual. And I'm very, very bi, but not interested at the moment, so. And this is I amazing, am, whatever you I am kind of seeing this guy. But I've promised that I won't have sex with him till Helen's met him, so. It's been nearly a month and I've still not had sex with him. Well done. So. You need to get him somewhere I can meet him so you can. I do, I need to like convince him to come over to Manchester. Mmm. Just have a past judgment. Mm. It doesn't taste of cheese. No, I think it's a slight cheese in to it. It's very sweet. There's a slight cheese to do, it mostly like the mozzarella and the white chocolate melt together and you get like, it tastes like white chocolate with the texture of mozzarella and it's amazing. It does, that's exactly how to explain it. Because <sighs> I was saying to Helen before we, were, we got back onto filming, I don't particularly like white chocolate. I like the feel of it and I like the smell of it but I don't like the taste of it. And while it does taste of white chocolate, it doesn't have that texture. Mm. So I don't mind it and it's quite nice. It's actually very nice. And then the raspberry just sets it off, the jam. Mm. Oh yeah, it needs a jam, definitely. Just that kind of sharp, mm. but also very sweet. This is not one where you could only use part of the ingredients. Mm. This is definitely one where you need to use all of them. I should pass the ingredients for my... For the special one that's on top of the microwave. We're not doing this yet though, are we? Well, we're going to make them soon. Well, well I've got to show them the ingredients still when we finish eating. 
These are going down really fast actually. Because they're delicious. I'm like three quarters of the way through mine. I think I'm a bit more full than you. <laughs> nice. Pardon? What did you what did you make more than me? Something just very nice. lesson that we should not do this show stood on. We can do way too many <laughs> silly things. Or... I think they're watching the silly things. That's true. Actually, we'll probably get more viewers doing this stood up because we do silly things. Excellent. I see you there. You know, on the video that Rhiannon guested in, she sat and did that for like 20 minutes before I realised. Before you realised when you're watching the screen? <laughs> No. Well done. And then she attacked me with hippo. That sounds like Vienna. They, while Helen finishes, I will show you. Because, like I said before, I invented one last week. It just in my head. I'm weirdly good with flavours. I get that from my mother. I can't cook very well, though. My mother's an amazing cook. Like, one of the best. If she'd have been a chef, she'd... she'd to have a Michelin star restaurant, I'm not even kidding. But um, I can't cook. I did not inherit that, like, even a little bit. But I did inherit the ability to mix flavours. So Which you most use as for alcohol. I do. I use it a lot for alcohol, which Easy we spoke about even. last week. Good. Um, <laughs> but since we decided that we, we wanted to do some other toasties as well, things that we thought up, pardon me, um, I thought of this one. Now, so we went and we got mascarpone cheese. This is my favourite type. It's from Asda. It's the light sugar, uh, the light lower fat type. But if you make this, get whatever type you want. Um, <clears throat> it says for silky pasta sauces and indulgent desserts. This would count as an indulgent dessert. And these a little chopped up bit of Terry's chocolate orange. When I open that lid, all you can smell is chocolate orange. I thought you were going to stop me stealing one then. Pardon? I thought you were going to stop me stealing one then. No. There's more than enough for two sandwiches there, so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I was up chopping these. And I got the mini segments, not an actual chocolate orange. You have no idea how hard those are to cut. It took, me, it took me like 25 minutes. Wow. I was on Skype with Anna at the time though, right. so. Just tell the shop orange worldwide thing while the people who aren't going to know what they are. Yeah. Because I've got some friends in Australia and America who know what Terry's are, so. Yeah, so Terry's chocolate orange are one of the various knockoffs that are available all around the world. Um, or, if you want to do this um, without using chocolate orange, I would recommend cho white cho uh, milk chocolate. Uh, pretty much the sweetest type that you can get, and an orange preserve. But it would also work, not exactly the same, but it would work as a good flavour if you used a lemon preserve. Don't use lime though, because that wouldn't work. No. But that's how you do it. If you use a lemon preserve or an orange preserve and chocolate and mascarpone cheese. It won't work with any other type of cheese, I don't think. It could work with mozzarella, but... It could be hit and miss with that. I'm pretty sure it'll be all right with the mascarpone, though. So and that would be very like the chocolate orange one yes. that I had. Yes, it would. The first week. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the first week. That was a long time ago now. That's like December. many, many toasties ago. It's like December. That's a, that's a long time ago, really. Because we had that long Christmas break, and it's been quite a while, to be fair. We've been doing this for nearly three months now. Wow. Three months. So. While Helen finishes this, we'll go, we'll give ratings at the end, but this is going to be a high rated one. Well, last week's I got two out of ten. I, I went, I keep, I'm used to being on the other side, so I keep going like that, and it's like, no, it's that side. Two was last week's uh, out of ten. This is going to be. This is going to get higher. Yeah. This is going to get a lot higher. This is probably going to be one of our highest scoring ones. 
Because you've got one that's on 9.5. Because I gave it a 5 and you gave it a 4.5. Which one was that? I can't remember, but it was one that we both got. Mm -hmm. We'll figure it out, though. Yes. <sighs> Are you hungry enough to eat these now? No, we're going to give it a little break. Yeah. Because <clears throat> We're couldn't... possibly going to go and move a sofa. So, oh. there's a reason. So, we'll be back in, like, probably half hour to an hour. And it'll be good. Yay! Bye! Bye! Hello again, everyone. Hello! We have moved from the kitchen back into my usual, and we've got a different sofa! We actually took a big, long, like, three and a half hour break between the sosties, and we moved sofas in my living room and then watched three episodes of Babylon 5. It was a good evening. It was. But now we have the second of our toasties. And this is my invention. There was a disagreement about the amount of chocolate. <laughs> more chocolate is better. Don't care if it bursts out. More chocolate is better. Yeah, but you don't want to overpower the mascarpone. I don't care. It's chocolate. Oh, this is... It's all Shin also fought the butter dish. I did. There will be pictures. Uh, there already are on Twitter. Um. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yes, it's subtle. I like it. Of course, mine has the correct amount of chocolate on it. Mine has the right amount of chocolate on it for me. Fair enough. I also put like double the amount of mascarpone on that Helen did as well. So you know. It's not like I only went heavy on the chocolate, I went heavy on the mascarpone as well. Fair enough. Funnily enough, mm -mm. this is not as sweet as the one we've just had. It's not. I think it's a lack of jam. Yeah, it must be. This is nowhere near as sweet as the one we had earlier. I have chocolate all over my face. I mean, it's still sweet, it's not like I'm about to have diabetes sweet. Yeah. I'm so good at diabetes when I'm older. Me too. Diabetes club. This is delicious and was a good life choice. It is a very good life choice. It's really creamy and smooth. Mm. Smooth. Mascarpone was definitely the right cheese. Mm. Mm. Like well, I was saying before, mo mozzarella would work, but it's not as creamy, so yeah, it wouldn't has, be as good. It has fluffiness. Yeah. This tastes literally like... It tastes like a hug. Mmm. Doesn't it, though? It's like a hug for your mouth. <laughs> a mug. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Are you implying I'm a mug, Helen? I won the fight with the butter dish, by the way. <laughs> it was a valiant fight. Helen and my mother were literally all dying laughing. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> and I kept stepping each other off because we'd stop and then we'd just start laughing again. Then you'd look at each other or you'd look at me and I'd still be looking at the butter. Basically the butter got stuck in the lid of the butter dish 
and I was sat there and I was like I was stood there like staring at this button I got it out she's there going you're not gonna get it out and I'm like I'll get it out she won yes but it's like you kept looking at it and you put, put it back and then you picked it up again and looked at it again and you kept doing this like five or six times you've got to look your enemy in the face right we should give our ratings for earlier yes we should first of all for the white chocolate the and white chocolate i'm gonna give that a 4.5 ditto so that's a nine it's a nine it was very good it was good. i would eat that for dessert like if that was on point at a restaurant or something i would eat that like not even i wouldn't even have to think twice about it Unless Affogato were on the menu, then I'd probably have to think, because I really like Affogato. <clears throat> I would eat that over tiramisu. Wow. That means nothing to you guys, but I really like tiramisu. He does like tiramisu. What about these ones, if we rated mine? I'm not sure. I'd give it a three. I'd give it a four. Hmm. Like, I really like it, and I will probably make it again, because I've got enough left in there to do one more. Um, but I wouldn't eat it like loads. Like every so often, it might be a nice little treat. But I would make it again, and I enjoyed it very much, and I ate it all. But I was really hungry because I'm getting over an MS relapse. So <clears throat> basically, I didn't eat for a month. And, and I had her body's going, feed me! Yeah, so right now my body's kind of going, right, you didn't eat for a month, now you need to be, like, fed up again. So. This is the first time I've not been hungry in three days. Wow. So I'm kind of proud of myself right now. But inside is I'm really fucking tired. <laughs> and I still want to finish these things. Anyway, so we've had two really tasty toasties um next week if we can figure out the physics of it we've got a special one to do and we'll have a normal poster um i don't think we have anything else special on next no. week no. <coughs> helen's still not quit a job i keep coming close She's still not quite. I hope to have a job interview at some point coming up. I'm not sure. That'd when, be but... good. That'd be good. Yeah. Keep your fingers crossed. In the city centre. Um, Salford Keys. But that's you. Oh, that counts. Yeah. yeah. That counts. That's like what? Ten minutes on the tram from you. So that's nothing. A little bit more, but yeah. It's not much anywhere. Yeah. Hey, I think. We, we could both be working on back on the sofa keys if I take my contract. Yes. That'd be awesome. That'd be really cool. Imagine if we were both working Fridays and we came home together. The tram is not prepared for that. No. No, the tram is not prepared. The tram is not prepared. But yeah. <clears throat> no, I'll have to tell you about that. I'll have to tell you about that when we're not filming. But yeah, so that's this week's. Um, they were very good. And that's everything. Yeah, sorry, yeah. my brain is not. <laughs> I, I should point out it is quarter to midnight right now. Which is, as we've mentioned earlier, is not normally sleeping time for Shin, but I think. It's not. But I think I'll have an early night tonight. I think I will. Well, I've had an early day as well because I was up by 11. Because remember, I was texting you guys yeah. quite early, which is early for me because. As mentioned earlier, I don't go to bed until like 6am. Being awake at 11am is not normal either. She's basically in America. I am. I'm like East Coast. I'm actually probably heading towards West Coast of America now with my sleeping because I work nights for so long. Which I don't mind because I'm more awake generally at night. But then I've had a long day today and I've done quite a lot. And we moved to sofas and I went to town earlier and... So yeah, it's been a really busy day, and <clears throat> you should sleep. So, we will leave it here. Mm -hmm. Loads of this rambling is probably going to get cut, cut out, but whatever. Um... Bye! Yeah, bye! Have fun! 
have a good week and we'll see you next weekend whenever I post the episode.